Hey everybody, this is Venus Fire Trap 99 and today we're going to be talking about a few different um, updates and some major um, computer things. Well, I have been um, playing many different things. Um, Sorry, I got an important um, just check for a solution. Had a problem here, I guess. I don't know. Anytime red shows up, that's usually not good. All I know is that that flag when that pops up, that's not good. Let's just get out of here. I need to. Anyway, I was uh doing a uh, few things and um. I know I did not show you much about uh, Sims on a few other things. Um, I will record some gameplay, um, but let me just uh, go to um, the internet here, and I'm just going to show you a few different things involving some updates. Um, Okay, and one thing I'm going to type in my website, and you can go look at it. This is all you have to type in. It's the old James Center, and press Enter. And Yahoo, or Yahoo, whatever you pronounce it with, or uh, Google should bring the uh, two different sites like this um pets are fun to care for .com is another one of my sites in fact i'll show you that real quick this one's per more professionally done for for right now um it just shows you some pictures of my animals and animals i've seen at pet stores um and animals i've had here's a youtube video of mine here's a forum in case there's a problem or a recommendation or a question or just a um a request and then we got tips for pet fish here and to show some pictures of fish and another way you get to youtube it says fish tips one don't start with salt water the reason why is because salt water is not the one to start out from completely beginning Two, make sure you can take care of the fish. Make sure you can provide them a space, um, food, shelter, everything you will need. Three, don't overfeed your fish for many reasons. Uh, overfeeding can cause tank cloudiness, cause of changes, and even fish death. So that's many reasons to not overfeed your fish. Number four, clean the tank once a month. Always try and keep your tank clean about once a month or more. Five, wash your hand. Well, it should say hands. Wash your hands after cleaning tank so you don't get infection. Use some soap on hands too. Six, do make sure your fish tank is ready for the fishes. In other words, when you are starting out your tank, or 20 gallon aquarium make sure it's prepared it's waited at least to 24 hours for it to establish before you can put fish in it with fresh water you only got to wait about 24 hours 47 hours about a week maximum to wait till you put fish in it with salt water when you start a complete scratch salt water um you might have to wait like a month to two months um especially if you're doing live rock and stuff okay seven 
have a great time. Have fun, you know, do it well. Um, eight is the most important of them all, probably, is to keep up with the fish. Keep doing everything. Um, keep checking up on them, feeding them, cleaning them, making sure the filters work, and keep cleaning the filter. Um, tons of stuff. And, and I'll show you the Contact Us page here. It says, Contact Us on Facebook on this group called the Parrot and Bird Group. Um, it's got this as a profile picture, actually. And our YouTube channel is Venus Flytrap 99 so it tells you my YouTube channel. It says, you can like us on Facebook. Email coming soon, TY. Other other site is the tljamesfair.com so let's go back this is a logo you can click on it to go home and before I yeah let me show you frogs the frogs uh, shows you a picture of a dart frog frogs 101 I got I really these are be are beginning sites they have not developed quite yet so you know they really need some more things the lizard is pretty um, classic format looking. It's got two pictures of lizards, one and only. Tells you some information about pet lizards. Uh, we got my saltwater fish. Um, it's a blog. Then you click home and you go home. And again, these are pictures of pets or animals. Um, this is my cat. This is my dog. This is my clownfish I've had. This is just a toucan. I don't own that. That's a lizard at a pet store. That pet place. Um, here's a, sh a shark at a fish store. It's not no longer in business anymore. It was a fish store called Deep Blue Tropicals in Maryland. Here's a betta fish that belonged to me. There's the Teal James Center cards, if you can see them. I have some cards, business cards for it. What the Teal James Center is, if you're just wondering, it's basically just a website I had developed. Um, but the Teal James Center was like my little kind of, not really pretend, but not official business. And I had it in my rooms, you know, and, you know, you could just come in. It was more of a family. It was privately owned. It wasn't government registered or not. So it was really not a business. It was more of an organization of animals and objects in one place and an organization of people to come and see the objects and animals. Here's the Teal James Center's website. Okay, here is the Teal James Center's uh, logo. I will update this some other time. Here's a couple of fun um, gadgets. Uh, you got the uh, virtual fish you can feed them play with them um change your colors and whatnot here's the flies i don't know if you can feed these guys or not no it doesn't look like it i think you can squish them or something gotta do something with them okay and here is a weather application telling you the weather you can go ahead and fix it I think to find out your weather it says we hope it says we will hope to be a professional aquarium or center like the science center when we reopen we will let you know so that'll be like if I go to college and get a very good degree and if I can like make the Teal James Center like an aquarium or something like the National Aquarium. If I can make it a real um, center. And that would be a very awesome uh, job. Here's a cool little application. It's called uh, Shark Break. Very um, realistic. What it is is it is a, um application where the shark or there's an option. There's a whale. Looks like Shamu. There's... um. A dolphin. Dolphin's a little bit flexible. Too much. You need to make them. There's even a clownfish. There's a puffer fish. He puffs. Yep. I'm not clicking. He does that automatically. 
I have my finger off the pad. And there's the shark. The shark is probably the most realistic out of all of them, and the second most is probably the whale, and then the third is the fish, and the least most realistic is the dolphin. So the two fishes definitely before a dolphin. Um, the shark basically just move your cursor and he follows it, and you can like move it and pretend you got a little pet shark or something. Uh, they don't move automatically. You gotta move the cursor. Here is all of our pages for this site. Um, this is the center of all my sites, everything. Here is Sims are fun to us page. And this, well, just gives you a minor uh, picture of Sims and all that. But most of you are probably wondering, how on earth um, do you download free content with the Sims3Store.com? Well, first, you got to log in. Let me uh, log in real quick, okay, guys? Okay, I've logged in. Now we're going to hit home by clicking on the logo for The Sims. And here's, I'm basically just uh, giving you an overview of their site. Here's the Uber toilet. I guess it cleans itself and is uh, warms the seat and everything. It, it does a lot. Uh, it is currently right now. 400 sim points and when you first sign up for sims and you um, sign up on their site um, you get a th I think a thousand or two thousand free sim points uh, they give them to you for free I spent pretty much all mine I only have like 25 left um, here's where you go to get your free items that the sims provide you with you got the create a pattern and the create a world so to download the create a world tool is you just click on it and then it'll show you some screenshots of uh, how they make worlds and stuff and you can you know just accept terms and download it and then uh, something on the bottom should pop up and uh, you know should work good so now, there's another way to get some free stuff from people. Uh, we're going to go to um, Sims. You go to the exchange, go through the list, and go under what category, what would, what would you like to get for free? What content? Would you like accessories, clothes, hair, color, hair, households, lots, objects, patterns, pets, pet accessories, pet colors? Sims, tattoos, worlds, movies, stories. And uh, let's go under um, lots first. So if you notice, there is uh, tons and tons of houses here. This is a lot like the one I built. Um, you can download very well um, designed houses. I put most of my houses I make um, on the exchange for people to download. So, you know, please, you know, download it if you wish. Um, so, yeah, really, I mean, people do really hard work on these lots. You know, lots are very fun to do, though. You know, they're not very boring. They're probably the most fun to do. And, you know, you can just skip through a few pages and look at all the different, um, all the different sims and whatnot. And, you know, look here. You got a horse. Looks like a horse ranch. You got, like, some kind of park or a mill or something. Here's a nice looking home. Very nice homes. Most of them look like they're created a lot by the same person. Like, uh, one, you can create as many as you want and upload them to the exchange. It's just like Facebook, you know, you can post as much as you want. 
I don't know if they limit you eventually on how many houses you can post or lots. Um, you can go back under, uh, you can go back to the exchange. And now you want to look for sims. Say you want to download a sim that you don't want to have to go and create and all that. Here is generally uh, you will find very realistic looking sims. They will look a lot like real people. Like some of them like this one look more cartoonish. But this one looks much more realistic. And th that one looks pretty real. Um, some of them. Here's a you know all kinds of that one looks pretty real uh... here's uh... one with a hat you know you can download you know them for free you know these are sims that people created so like that one's incredibly lifelike now let's go under pets and i'll show you the pets you can download now these are custom pets that people uploaded Horses are one of the largest category. They made it a unicorn. Uh, you can, there's cats. Cats are more popular than dogs on here, I think. If anything, I'd download would be this and this. I'm sorry, not that. It'd be this and that one dog. Where'd it go? Wow, that dog's weird looking. That's a horse. Those are some weird looking horses. I don't really like those. They're uh, creepy. But, you know, I'm sure they're just like, you know, just bizarre. You know, they're not creepy. I don't know. That's a pretty realistic cat. I download him. I download this dog. He looks cool. I like dogs. Dogs I like much better than I do with cats. I mean, I don't mind cats. It's just. Dogs are much more friendly. I mean, my dog is very aggressive right now because she's very old and in pain. So my cat's actually more friendly than her. But look at that—a pink dog. Can you believe that? But yeah, you can create crazy colored animals such as this, and you can really make amazing creations with Sims. Um, so that's why one of the reasons. Why I like Sims is it involves a lot of architect and creativity. And I'm a very creative person, so definitely Sims is one of my favorite games. Don't mind that horse, even though he looks kind of weird. I love German Shepherds. Very beautiful dogs. Very big and strong dogs. And I think they weigh around 100 pounds sometimes. And we got a black cat. Looks just like mine. Um very real looking horse blue horse wild looking beautiful horse this one's even better looking uh... you know that dog looks pretty real it looks like a mix here's a raccoon okay so say you wanted to download one of these guys so what you do is you take and press this button download and this sign should pop up external uh, protector request Google Chrome needs to launch the external application to handle the Sims 3 links you just press launch application and what this will do is it will bring you to the launch menu for your application the Sims 3 or uh, the Sims whatever sims you're running mainly from and it'll take you directly to it and it'll automatically download it and then you gotta wait for the thing to stop spinning then you check mark it and you install it okay so you gotta do two things download it and that gets it onto the list period then you install it and then it should take a blank moment a couple few blank moments and then it should take and let's see if it's doing it should take and show this the sims 3 logo with no words just saw uh, the number and a bar at the bottom with the green going across that means it's installing 
in the circle, you know, the basic cursor turns into a circle pad, so definitely, uh, if you leave it, like, next to it, it looks like a natural just circle loader, um, but, yeah, definitely, and then after it's done installing, this will disappear, probably scare you, and then it says, rat and liver, sims, pets, pack, success, done. Okay, so that is actually in my game now. So when it shows us, it's installed. Um, all this is installed content that I've put in my game. And that is a raccoon. And there's a lot more you can do. You know. Um, look under installed content. You can see there's another raccoon on there, but I think he's just a pet color. Not only that, but I don't know, they give the raccoons weird names. Because I think a lot of sim places that you see, like uh, sim creations, were created in a different country or something. Probably that's why it's in a, a different metaphor or language. Very nice looking, uh, that's a weird, creepy looking dog. Don't. It would have looked better if its eyes weren't so uh, abstract. This is very nice looking doll, very realistic. It looks like a uh, Chinese mix between a Chinese terrier of some sort, or some kind of type of Chinese um, dog, and in between maybe a Mexican Chihuahua, and then the common American Golden Retriever or Border Collie or the Lab. So, very interesting looking. Very cool animal there. Horse. It's a nice looking dog. Looks pretty real. Looks more like a wolf. Dalmatians. Some of my favorite horses. Oh, that looks like a pretty realistic Doberman Pinscher. Cats. That's a nice, that's a pretty realistic looking dog. You can create your own breed of dog on here. Like, say you have a dog breed in real life, and it's not on Sims, you can just create your own, and then you can upload it to the exchange for other people to have it, too. Like, I have a rat terrier dog, so there's really no dog that matches her on here. So I'd have to take and just create a dog, shape and mold her, and um, put the color and stuff on, and then the personality, and then I'd have a Snoopy in Sims seen a lot of zebras are very common because it's something that you can make with a horse very easily all you need to do is go to create a horse in the game and just you know put stripes and black coat in the back on it um that's a neat looking looks like a chihuahua that looks like a uh, husky of some sort Oh, wow, look at that dog. That's wild looking. Again, you know, there's some really interesting looking animals on here. Uh, that looks like a bear. But you can make these animals to look like different animals. You know, they don't have to. It's like the horses. You can make them zebras. Um, and, and the dogs and cats, you can make like foxes and stuff. You know, so yeah, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, we'll go under another category. We'll go under worlds and see what it, what worlds they got. Let's see. I'll point. Wow. Definitely uh, a lot of worlds. Oh, look at this. Very nice looking. I like that. So I'm going to download this. We're going to launch the application again. It's got 118 downloads, so it must be good. Mine, my uh, older one, has about that. And we're not going to install it yet. We're just going to add it to the downloads list. Sunset Isle, it's called. It's a nice name for it. Um, but.
But if you don't want to create a world and you don't want a default one, you can always go to the exchange and download one. Um, you know, there's tons of different things on here. I'm trying to see if mine's on here. Draw. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like mine is. Wow. That's wild. I don't know how they could have done that. I don't know how to make, you know, in the world creator, how to make it round like a globe. There must be a, a special map you can choose from or something. Or special extension that you can buy or something. I don't know. But, let's go for an example to my page and we'll go under my studio and this will show all of my things I have here this will show uh, all my worlds and stuff like this little island of mine for relaxing it's uh, got over 74 downloads already got zero likes uh the main sims pattern it's got six downloads um over the reef world it's got 33 downloads the sims life bay got one download the uh golden nugget star got one download The Sims Relax Island got 110 downloads. My Pattern 112 got one download. So yeah, I've had I've have a f few really popular things. Sorry if I'm talking kind of weird. I'm just very tired. It's late, so um yeah. So you know, you can go under Tools. Huh. These are two new things I discovered. Create a story and create a movie. Uh, we'll go under create a movie. So, this is a way to create a movie with the sims um the audio you got the blues you got effects wow you can add captions uh images video clips and let's go back to uh gain tools and we'll go to create a story so I guess this allows you to create like a uh, magazine or something. So yeah, very unique um, tools. Definitely recommend on using those too. So uh, it's one thing you can do. Um, I'll just minimize it or uh, go to a new window. So yeah, you know you can definitely do a lot on your computer. People don't realize all what your computer can do. Um, you know, can basically, uh, this is my Google Chrome page. It's got pictures of manta rays in the back. It feels like you're underwater. Here's Google Sites. 
Now, can you guys explain this to me? A lot of times, when I click on Google Sites, it does not load. It, like, turns blank. Um, I know Google's been having lots of problems. Um, but yeah. We'll go to my... Now, let me show you real quick on Sims again how to post a blog. Okay? So, you go to my page and you go to my blog and then it'll take you to this. And then you create new post. And then you give it a title. Okay, this is just a very small update. And there we go. That's how you do it, see? So, you can obviously do a lot with Sims 3 website alone. Um, here's my page. It's got... Coca-Cola's logo on the back. I got one friend. Um, so if you want to friend me, you know, if you're a good sim player and you want to friend me, you go ahead and friend me. I may not accept though, please, you know. I, I, it, but, you know, I'm just saying if you're, like, really good or, you know, you don't have many friends on, uh, the sims, then, yeah, definitely, uh, just add me if you want. Um. Okay, so, like, you can always go to somebody's page, you know, and click on them and, you know. Let's see, what's my treasure hunts do? Okay, here's my comments. So, that's basically all you can do. So, just for security purposes, we're going to log out. And now, we're going to eggs out of the, uh, the window here. And uh, that's all. Now, I will show you a couple tricks real quick to... Uh, tune up your computer just do um some Norton security scans if you have Norton or do a security scan with whatever uh, security um, you have you know whatever uh, security suit you have for your computer and this alone will speed up your computer the scan then after doing the scan you should do a file cleanup try and delete any un unwanted pictures videos um, before and after but, um, doing the scan. This is not a full scan. This is just a small, quick, you know, run scan. This isn't a full, heavy, heavy scan that scans over hundreds of thousands of items, which scans your whole entire computer and finds any kind of Trojan or anything. That will take hours and hours on my computer. Probably take a whole day. So I, I only do that every once in a while. This is almost just as good. It just that one really is for hardcore scanning like if you got a virus or you really are suspicious that you might have one where spyware might be in your computer or you're trying to really prevent one so yeah definitely do it that way then if you know 
can also schedule um, different things so they can automatically scan me like if you know when you're not on I don't know if it'll turn the computer on and do it by itself or not okay we're gonna run a file cleanup and that takes pretty short time and if you notice you can notice how quick that window closed because that sped up our computer incredibly fastly so um another place you can go for sims is origin this is what powers sims and uh origin is just another way of um like if you go into sims you know and you know you can look at sims you can uh, sign out and there you go so after you do all that then you're just gonna want to shut down your computer so you know but uh thank you guys for watching and this was just some computer tips and um things i wanted to show you but thank you so much for watching guys and have a merry christmas and happy new